Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Craig here again with a quick update of uh, what I've been up to over the last few days. As you can see, I've actually finished something for a change. This is the uh, Porsche Tiger diagram, a diagram, Di uh, vignette, diorama, whichever you want to think, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, finally finished it. You see, it came out quite well for the fire. Just did a uh, couldn't think of anything to do with the fire. Oh, he's fell off his tank. Look, oh, let's, let's put him back up there. There, he's back up there. Uh, right, yes, finished now. It's fire. I've just done a, um, a bucket to sort of boil and some water to do. Maybe it's cooking or washing or something like that. And I've got a few a few bottles of beer. You can get close up to them. Let's have a look, see if we can. Let me just. I don't know if you can pick them up or not. Just on his. Turn it around. There's one on his little step just there beside the guy who's standing on there, and the other one at the back has his. Uh, he has his two bottles. And. Let's pull back out again. Oh, maybe that's a bit better. You can just see the two there, and the one there beside the guy. And let's just pull out a little bit. And the tank commander's got one in his hand. He's got just sitting there having a beer, having a chill out while he can. So, let's have changed it. I've done the chain again and made it more, more in scale. I changed that. Everything else is basically the same as. Uh, as I left it, so I've just stained this, uh, give it a quick cut of varnish, maybe need another one, and I've stuck a lolly stick where there's a gap where the uh, picture used to hang, and just named it, so I know what it is in the future, if I ever forget, which is more than likely, so I'm calling this one finished, it uh, came out really well, very very pleased with it, very pleased with it indeed, it's a nice build, the tiger, I love building this little tiger, really went together really 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 well it was nice I'd like to build another one but they seem to have shot up in price at the moment so I wait till they come back down again but so I'm very very happy with that it's come out really well that's another another one to collect dust as the wife says which is true I suppose once they're on there they start collecting dust Oh, there we go ladies and gentlemen, that's that one finished and um, I'll show you what else I've been up to this week. I'll put this away out of the way for now. I've been building the um, MSD SU152 and this is where I've got with it so far. So all these are they're not uh, they're not on yet, they're all loose at the moment, so I've got the uh, tracks and everything to weather yet. But uh, it hasn't come out too bad at all. In fact, it was a great little kit to build. See, so this one's, uh, they all want to fasten them down properly, I've got to fasten them on and one thing and another. And it's gone on really well. Uh, here's the um, Vallejo Russian Green Primer underneath here, and then I use the Vallejo Russian Green tank colour. I weathered it with um, blue for grey a, a, a filter which just seems to do it, just seems to work properly with the grey for some reason so it's going to work together really well really really well. So I added a chain on the back again let me just see if I can make it a bit a bit lighter. No, is that better? No, let's have a look. We'll lift it up anyway, we'll lift it up so I shall just take these off for now until I'm ready to attach them all. So there's a chain at the back and a few fuel 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 stains. This one seems to have bent for some reason. I must have missed it. It's, that's why it out of skew. But I say I have the uh, the tracks and everything to weather yet. A few of the bits and pieces. Yeah. It went together really well. I've got the tow rope, the tow, uh, tow cables to go on yet, which are here. There's two of these. 
all ready to be, they're all primed, just ready to be finished and fastened to the to the tank. I've got two of them ready to go on. And obviously the storage again. And uh, I think it's got really, really well. Very pleased with it. Cheap kit, really well. But really came out really well with the cheap kit. I'm very happy. I've added a few little bits and pieces, spares that was that wasn't with the kit. Like there was the um, the lifting hooks. There was none of them in the kits, but I had some left from an old dragon kit. <laughs> well, you got now, aren't you, from a dragon kit? Um, I think that's about it. That's all I use on there. Or oh, a grab handle at the back of here. There was no grab handle on the uh, on the rear there. The aerial bent again. So I'll just do one of them as well. Spare grab handle. And it's gone together really well. Really, really pleased with it. I'm just got to do say, a few more little bits and pieces to do with it. We're almost there. I've got to put the um, people use it now. Use the micro. See that? Micro crystal clear, which I'll leave out now so I know I've got to do it. That's just for the headlight, put it in there and it dries clear. I don't like the plastic, you know, green plastic thing on it, so that's what I've got to do with that as well. And I see obviously the uh, storage has to be all finalised and finished and, and put onto there, like so. But, uh, that's, that's just, so I've got to fasten it all down here. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, very, very happy with it. Very happy with it indeed. It's come out really well. And these, I just made a few of these yesterday. I had these bandages that I got from from Poundland or whatever they were, the freight bandages, whatever they're called. Ideal for cargo netting and you know nets for the thing. I painted them, left them to dry, and just rolled them. So I put them in my spares box and I just weathered this one obviously to be to go with the tank. I don't know how accurate it is, but I thought it looks quite nice. Obviously I've got the tracks, the uh, spare tracks to go on the front. They've got to go on the front and weather up on the front. Down here, underneath there, it's got to be on there. Oop, here we go, that's why it isn't on there. Oh, that's out of the way, so I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, I did a dyno for it, so I shall bring that up next. I've been working on this most of the week, in fact since last Sunday. Um, let's have a look. Obviously there are the soldiers to go with it, just ignore the soldiers on the uh, roll around the floor. John says they're all laughing at each other. Uh, as you can see I've, uh, this is just underneath here, it's just a lot of foam and things like that uh, with grey paper, brown grey paper and, oh, take that off there, no we don't need that on there, no. Uh, and PVA glue moulded it onto the shape I wanted. Um, this unbelievable or not is the bottom of the bird bird budget cage. You know the the sand the sand sheets. I think I got ten for fifty p in Wilkinson's. So I, just, I thought well, coming useful for something. So there again, I just sprayed them a couple of different grey colours, black, and then I just weathered them with the uh, weathering powders and things and. <coughs> so the tank will sit on there obviously at the end and this stuff here on the rear is it was um, I think I don't know if I told before I, the orchid food <coughs> sorry orchid uh, soil which had dried out so I just zapped it and came in useful as a as you know as foliage and foliage um, ground scatter which will come out quite well and all these trees are all made by myself there's different methods. There's one just with the uh, the gutter mesh that you put in your gutters to stop uh, you know leaves getting in. There's just balsa wood with the um, coconut husks that you put on plants, cut out into circles and, and, and teased apart. And then we got the woodland scenics uh, coarse turf and fine turf just to finish them off. It looked quite good. Obviously I've done a few extra little things on the bottom here, like the um, as if it's the uh, rest of the twigs coming down off the tree came out really well and these are the uh, bricks the um, from the, from the moulds that Simon Kemp uses Diorama I can't remember the name of the place now Diorama, Diorama Debris excuse me yeah so all these are all um, cast from that uh, individual uh, all weathered 
a couple of washes here and there and I've just put little bits of, I don't know if you can quite see, can you quite, let's have a look let's bring it in a bit, let's bring it in a bit and I've done some bits of mosses on the wall, if you can just see the moss and then I've done a vine, I made a vine, just sort of another vine, whatever you want to call it, to grow up the side of the wall oh. And these are my own grass tufts, and these ones I bought these ones because they've got little flower heads on them, which uh, I forgot I had. And that's here. Uh, and this is just the uh, reindeer moss. I've just, you know, sprayed it and the yeah, I put down it here and finish. It's a bit still a bit wet, so you can see, you can see the white still on them, yeah. And I made it like a storm drain uh, under, from underneath, which is just. A couple of cocktail sticks uh, cut, positioned, weathered, you know, like wrought iron and rust. And in the centre we have the same stuff as this, just like, you know, the reeds, what's under the water, um, flowing, a couple of twigs off the uh, off the garden. Well, I've got the one off the garden, I've got a few more to collect. And this is, this is a dry, this is the riverbed at the moment, which I haven't finished yet. That's got to be, um, put the water effect in there, which, which is probably one of my next jobs. It came out really well, very very happy with it indeed, very very happy. So, it just needs, you know, finishing now. Clean up all the borders and things and one thing and another. But yes, I want to get the water effects in, just leave that for a, however long and then, uh, well, you know, the one done I say, I've got to tidy the sides, I'll tidy the sides are a bit un, untidy at the moment, as you can see they're just grey paper and the sponges underneath there and you know all the bits and pieces I could throw in there so I'll just tidy that up and same with the back although you're not going to see the back but I'll still tidy it up I'll spray it brown or something like that as if it's a soil you can see it from the back but yeah very very happy with this very happy indeed And obviously the, uh, the laughing soldiers are to go on, these need to be weathered, weathered yet. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the, the Russian, they're all wanting to be positioned on the tank or wherever. So they've got to be all uh, finished and weathered, but they'll be going on shortly. Uh, I think that's about it really. Let's see if I can I'll just zoom out a bit again so we can get the full effect of it. I think that's as far as it'll go out. So, but yeah, very pleased indeed. It's uh, come out really well, really, really well. So yeah, I haven't been sitting on me sitting on me on my bum all. Well, I've been sitting on my bum all week doing this, but I'm really happy with it. Um, I've just did another sort of messing around with another sort of a, a variation of a tree as well. I just. <sighs> It hasn't come out too bad, I think it's just the, I picked the wrong colours, but that's another tree that I've started to make. I do different kinds now, I just thought instead of sticking to the same one, I thought I'd just vary things. Just the, uh, you know, I know where I went wrong on that one, so I shall rectify that. I'll probably give that a quick spray with a darker green, like a dull green, to uh, either, like a, to, it's too bright a green. But uh, that's not a little thing I've been messing around with during the week. Uh, my next build will be, let me get it down for you and I'll show you what I'll be building next. Once all this is finished. I'm actually doing a buddy build with Steve Mottram and uh, Joe Bentley and uh, they are doing this exact same kit but uh, it's a T55 we're doing. They're doing I think the uh, one of the Tacom T55s. Every time I touch something, it seems to fall down. And I'm going to do the uh, T55 1958 with BUT55 snowplow on the front. I'll uh, just pull that light out of a little bit. So I'll probably do a little quick review on this before I start building it, but that's my next build. So. I'm quite looking forward to this. It's a finish, I think it's got finish um, 
markings. I haven't really looked inside the box if there's any alternatives, but when I do a uh, kit review, I shall find out. So that's where I'm at at the moment. So if you've liked what you've seen, please leave us a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. And this is Greg signing off. Thank you for watching.